Warren Buffett said that the banking crisis isn't over. This was in an interview with CNBC in mid-April. He was right. First Republic Bank is now the third major U.S. bank to fail in just two months. Blame has been placed squarely on the overly aggressive rate hikes at a pace which has been too rapid. This was because the Fed had reacted to persistent inflation in the USA too late and had to reach a higher interest rate in order to rein in inflation quickly. In the latest news, it was reported that J.P. Morgan Chase will buy First Republic Bank, taking $173 billion of loans and about $30 billion of securities, including $92 billion of deposits. It is not assuming the bank's corporate debt or preferred stock. Buffett said we could see more bank failures, but the U.S. banking system will not collapse. Warren Buffett's offer to bet $1 million on the safety of U.S. bank deposits is reassuring, said Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan CEO. So, should we still invest in banks? Warren Buffett offered a lesson to investor. Buffett said that he has stuck with Bank of America because he got a very decent deal when he first invested in 2011. He likes the CEO Brian Moynihan. And he simply didn't want to sell. His investment is paying a decent dividend regularly. So, the lesson here is we want to invest in strong bona fide income generating assets and that the entry price matters. Warren Buffett said the following. Long ago, Ben Graham taught me that, price is what you pay, value is what you get. Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it is marked down. However, this banking crisis is different from the global financial crisis. Despite Berkshire's long history of supporting U.S. banks in times of turmoil, the company stayed on the sidelines after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. Why was this the case? We get a glimpse into the great minds of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger when the latter said the following. Charlie Munger said there are huge risks lurking in banks' large portfolios of commercial property loans. Banks are saddled with bad loans. He said the following. A lot of real estate isn't so good anymore. We have a lot of troubled office buildings, a lot of troubled shopping centers, a lot of troubled other properties. There's a lot of agony out there. Every bank in the country is way tighter on real estate loans today than they were six months ago. Therefore, it is not surprising that Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger did not go to the rescue of First Republic Bank even as a group of largest U.S. banks provided the troubled bank with a $30 billion. Lifeline The takeaway here seems to be that if we are not in the know, it is probably better to avoid investing in U.S. commercial real estate investment trusts right now. It is probably the next shoe to drop. Things could get worse before they get better.